Hey, this is Kurt. Welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here and you like uh, smoking videos, please consider subscribing and make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Today I want to show you my best new way to grill chicken on the Char Broil SRG. So let's get to it. whole chicken here so basically what we're gonna do is butterfly this and they call it spatchcock so there's the breast side up we're just gonna flip it over put the neck portion towards yourself and just use some shears to cut out that backbone just try to follow it all the way through And then go on the other side. And the whole idea of this, why we're doing it this way, is to make the chicken lay flat. So it's kind of even when it uh, grills. It's like uh, grilling one great big breast. And uh, save that backbone for, you know, some gravy or whatever. All right, we've got the backbone out of there. We're going to flip it over and you notice it's still really not flat so what we're going to do is just push down on the breast you can hear it there crack if you find any odds and ends of meat or extra fat just go ahead and trim off a little bit here all right and that's it. Really easy. Less than uh, five minutes. And when you get this on the grill, you can tuck the, uh, the wings under. But what I'm going to do now, rather than just season it and put it on the grill, is I'm going to brine this for about two or three hours. And for the brine, I'm just going to take a two gallon uh, Ziploc, put in a half a cup of sugar, and a half a cup of kosher salt, Really easy. There's our half a cup of salt, a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, if I can get it in here without spilling it, and then about two tablespoons of black ground pepper. There's one, there's two, and that's it for that. Then I'm gonna add four cups of water, now I may have to add more once I get the chicken in. Now I'm all simply just gonna put the chicken right in here. A little messy. Hey, there it is. I think I'm gonna go get some more water and I'll add just a, about two more cups of water. Okay, I'm gonna add that two more cups of water. Seal it up here. Make sure it's sealed good. You don't want to make a mess in the darn uh, refrigerator. Okay, that's it. I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for about three hours. Come back. I'm going to rinse it off real quick. And then I'm going to put my own rub on it. And then pop it on the uh, SRG. Okay, the chicken's been in the brine for about three hours. I've taken it out already. Rinsed it off. Patted it dry with some paper towels. So now I'm just gonna add a, a real light coat of oil. I'm using grapeseed oil today. You can use olive oil or whatever you have. I just have uh, grapeseed oil handy. And I'm gonna use a store-bought uh, rub or seasoning. So all you gotta do is pour a little bit of your oil over there. And then I'm gonna give it a good coating of my seasoning and use whatever you've been using nothing special I'll flip it over and do the same thing to the underside tuck the wings under a little bit of those okay 
Now we're ready to go outside and pop it on the grill. And the grill's been preheating for about 10 minutes because I added some smoke chips. I'm trying to get a little bit of smoke in there. Not much, but there will be some smoke. All right, I've got it on the grill. Got a little bit of smoke coming out. And I place it skin side down. I want to get it pretty crispy, or that's what I'm shooting for. I've been doing this lately. It's been coming out great. All right. Okay, I'm gonna close the cover and come back in about 10 minutes and see how we're doing. And I also got the eye grill on there. I know you can't read it out here in this sun. All right, we'll be back in about 10 minutes to turn her over. Well, I got some good smoke coming out of this now. I'll be back in a couple of minutes to turn it over. Got some nice rolling smoke now. All right, in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna flip this over. Can't see it. Ah, a little dark. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice. And the breast is about 80 degrees right now. So I'm gonna put it on for another, uh, maybe another 10 minutes. All right, the chicken's done. So it took a, a, right about an hour to uh, cook out there. So let's go out there and take a look. All right, we're done. All right, there she is. Now in a couple minutes, I'm gonna show you why that skin is so dark, or actually black. I'm gonna go ahead and shut the, the heat off. And I'm gonna let it rest here for about uh, 10 minutes and I'll come back. And like I said, I'm gonna show you why that skin's so dark. So here's the reason that skin got so burnt. See that foil there? I always put foil down before I uh, roast something or grill. Well, I put it down there and what did I do? I forgot to stick a, or poke a hole in the foil so it could drip into the drip pan. So when I came out here, you've seen that clip a little bit ago where it was just gushing out smoke. Well, that wasn't from the wood chips. That was from a little mini fire down here with the grease. So if you're going to line your SRG with foil, remember to poke a hole in there. Yeah, I can't believe I did that. Okay, let's cut this guy up. Well, that one just fell off. <laughs> wow. Even though it's pretty black, it's not, it's not ruined. That skin is nice. Huh? Might as well take my temperature probe out. It's 172 just sitting there. a little bit of the breast meat look at that so moist oh, we've got to do a taste test now This is really moist. I'm going to continue uh, doing the spatchcock uh, method on the SRG. The, the chicken just turns out really great. It's better than cooking it whole or cutting it up and grilling it. Um, yeah, I'm going to stick with this. Here's a little bit of skin. Kind of looks looks a little dark. Hmm. Good stuff. That's it. It's good stuff here. Good stuff. 
If you'd like to uh, see more of my videos on SRG, go ahead and click on the playlist up here. Also further up, I have uh, a big playlist of all my smoking projects. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, subscribe up here and make sure you hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching.